Hey, this video is going to be showcasing the new 10.5 inch iPad Pro's 4K video capabilities. There's going to be samples in the daylight, night shots, low light shots, stationary shots, walking shots that test out the iPad's new optical instabilization, slow motion, and a few photos as well. If you want to check out my full 10.5 inch iPad Pro review, click over here somewhere. If you want to see what the camera on the iPad Pro can do, this video is for you. Heck, this whole intro was recorded in 4K using the iPad Pro. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If not for me, at least do it for my best friends who helped out make this video. Okay, so I decided to start off with this first shot because I believe it puts the iPad's Pro sensor to the test. At 30 frames per second, the water movement is a little rougher compared to 1080p 60 frames per second, but you can see how crisp the lines are on the black posts. And if I were to zoom in on the New York skyline, I would still get a good amount of detail. Here's the New York skyline again, and the camera sensor is doing a really good job of capturing the details in the wave. Here we are at 100% zoom in 4K, and you can still make out individual floors, and the lines are still crisper than what they would be in 1080p. Here the sensor is doing a great job of getting color accurate detail, but the 30 frames per second is really making it hard to keep the fast moving soccer ball in focus. Now we've got some slow motion video at 720p 240 frames per second. You can tell we've lost a lot of detail on the grass and the color is a little dull, but the trade off is getting more detailed slow motion video. And this is 1080p at 120 frames per second. And we're back at 4K at 30 frames per second. Now this is a walking shot and you can see the optical image stabilization doing its job keeping the video steady. Now this is another walking shot but instead in a low light situation. Notice how there's any lens flare in this video but there's also a lot of noise in the night sky. Here we've got a bit of a problem. As you can clearly see, a lot of these lights are simply blown out. Here in this shot, you can see how detailed the benches are. The lines are captured very accurately and there's still a good enough detail between the slits on the backrests. Here we've got some photos of some flowers. The first picture is strictly low light. The second picture is with true tone flash turned on, and the last one is in daylight. As you can see, that even with the true tone flash, the iPad still dulled the colors of the flowers. This next video is really playing the shadows. You can see how the iPad Pro sensor handles shadows and multiple objects. Here we're zooming into the ducks and you can see the camera does a really good job of keeping the ducks neck smooth. At 1080p the neck area would start to look a little jagged at 100% zoom. Oh no wait actually these are these are geese. The, those are geese not ducks. <laughs> and here you can see how the sensor handles moving objects in low light. Again since we're only at 30 frames per second the video isn't as smooth and there's a lot of trailing going on. This is perhaps my favorite shot. The camera did a really good job of capturing all the rust and you can see the detail in the supports of the bridge stayed very crisp. And you can still see a lot of details in the wave down in the Hudson. I took the same video at 1080p and there's just a lot of noise and the supports were just doled out. Now we've got some water flowing. Again capturing this at 60 frames per second would make the water flow smoother but 30 frames per second gets the job done. And here we've got some stills of the New York skyline at night at 0% zoom. 
And here's the same shot at 100% zoom. Now we're playing with the tap to focus. Here we focus on the water fountain. Notice all of the lens flares. Now we're focused on the center tree. Again, lots of lens flare. And now we're focused on the top right high rise in the foreground. Again, there's so much lens flares, it's almost like JJ Abrams directed this. And now we've got some more stills. There's a lot of clarity loss in this one. Here we can see there isn't much detail in the post surrounding the water fountain. I actually held up traffic for this one, but it was so worth it. Here's my favorite shot again. If you look at the supports, you'll notice there isn't a lot of detail that's lost compared to the 4K video. And this is 4K video shot of the New York skyline at night. Notice all of the noise going on in the sky. And here we're going to zoom in 100% in the support cables of the GWB. Notice that even at this distance, the camera is still able to smooth out the shape. At 1080p, the cable did get a little jagged. And here we've got some cars in 4K. We've got some great detailing, but at 30 frames per second, it is causing some motion blurring. And there you have it. This is what you should expect from the camera on the iPad Pro. It's great for daytime, but I've seen other cameras perform better at night. If you enjoyed the video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time.